So we're going on a bear hunt. Yes, going and on a bear hunt. you took inspiration from these woods for this. Yes, the woods on Hampstead Heath. I was on the heath every day because I had a dog. I know the heath like the back of my hand. <laughs> and it's painted into your work. Yeah. That story, written by Michael Rosen, is probably the best-known work of Helen Oxenbury's 88 illustrated books. She started out in a career in TV, film and theatre. It was only when I went, met my husband that I saw him illustrating books, John Birmingham. And so you went from huge canvas in the yes, theatre... huge backdrops, to book-size illustration, yes. Her paintings capture just what it's like to be little. They've been loved by generations of children and their parents reading the stories at bedtime. I expect you love all your babies, but do you have any favourite characters? It would be so much. I so enjoyed doing it. Every, every page was a pleasure. I think Farmer Duck, um, I do, I, I'm very fond of the duck. And in um, Alice in Wonderland, uh, the, I, I love the, the white rabbit, although I don't think he's a very nice person, but he's lovely to draw. Now there's a new biography of her life in illustration that tells the story of a passionate artist observing the people around her, starting at a very young age. Grandpa was one of her first subjects. And today, at the age of 80, she's still working from her Primrose Hill studio. I love being on my own in my room. The, the moment that I shut the door and nobody can get at me, uh, it's the best time of the day. I mean, it's lovely. I suppose, yes, one does have the, the company of one's characters. Um, also, I have the radio. 35 million copies of her work have been sold across the world. She's won numerous awards and brought up three children. What is there left to do? Are there still stories coming? I'll say, yes, yes. And I hope to um, fall off the perch doing it. I should, I'll have my, my pencil in my hand and I'll go... Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> there lies Across Helen the Oxenbury. <laughs> <laughs> off the page. Wendy Harrell, BBC London News.